Good day, everybody. Rob here at WesternPacificWeather.com. Currently right around 1200 Japan Standard Time on the 15th of October 2010, right around 03 Zulu for those of you worldwide. Moving around the Western Pacific, first and foremost, we're all watching a 15 Whiskey or Megi here right now, moving off to the West Northwest right around 8 knots. But otherwise, though, quick look around the rest of the West Pack. I also have an Invest 93 Whiskey here near uh, Vietnam, moving off to the West right now, not expecting any uh, further development out of that system, just basically monsoonal rains along uh, Vietnam here and as we all know uh, last couple weeks have been receiving a lot of rain so this is not a really good news for them right in that region and farther off to the north, though, an area of low pressure moving off of Japan today with extending a stationary front and an upper level trough that's actually going to be affecting 15 whiskey here. We'll note that a little bit later. And a high pressure moving in behind that, and that's going to be bringing much cooler temperatures throughout Korea and uh, Japan over the weekend. So uh, good news up that way that for a uh, much uh, fairer weather up in this region. So now getting into the uh, meat and potatoes of this update, we have 15 W down here, or Maggie moving off to the west northwest, right around 8 knots. Max winds right now are 90, gusting up to 110 knots, as based on our recon and uh, Dvorak scale from a JTWC. Currently located about 1,000 nautical miles to the east of uh, Manila, east northeast actually of Manila, and uh, northwest of um, Yap, and just due north basically of Palau now. And the system is moving off to the west northwest, following uh, the southern periphery of the subtropical. Tropical ridges. We can see in satellite picture basically this clear area throughout here, the area of high pressure. And actually, we're going to show you on a surface chart what I'm talking about right here. Surface chart from uh, Penn State right here showing our area of low pressure, our typhoon right now, and uh, high pressure ridging in actually to the north. Now, this is all a ridge of high pressure throughout this region right in here with a uh, lower pressure up here. This is what we call that subtropical ridge right all the way through here, and this is uh, going to keep the system to the south. I like to think of uh, tropicals as basically water wanting to run downhill. They're not going to run uphill towards a uh, higher ground, basically, which we call the higher pressure. So, just something uh, to note here and kind of a good thumb rule to follow when you're forecasting uh, tropical storms. Actually, looking at 15W here, uh, the overall organization of the system is much better today. We have more organization on the northern periphery as this uh, tropical trough up farther up to the north has let up a little bit with that ridge building in. So it's given more exhaust in the upper levels, more anticyclonic rotation. And overall, we have much more outflow in the northern periphery. You still have good equatorial outflow in the southern periphery and a little bit of dry air out to the northwest. But this looks like it's starting to actually let up. Uh, this system moves off towards the uh, west right now. And zooming in on microwave imagery here, we still can see a little bit of a dry air out to the northwest, but overall organization and circulation on this system is uh, much better today than it was uh, yesterday here. So also we can, can see an eye wall forming right here in the northern periphery, and as we get some newer microwave imagery here, we'll definitely probably see a, uh, a definite eye wall starting to form out of this over the next 6 to 12 hours. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, that's enough of what's going on right now. Now we're going to look at the uh, forecast track. Here, looking at the European model, the most recent model run here. S starting with our initiation of the system out here just to the uh, northwest of Yap. Now, it looks like it's going to start to make landfall according to this model in northern Luzon. Eventually, return up to the uh, northwest towards uh, southeastern China right in here just to the southern west of uh, Hong Kong. Actually agreeing with that right in here. Anywhere from uh, basically Taiwan down to Hainan actually needs to watch this. Likely going to recurve after it moves over Luzon. But right now, oh, it looks like it's actually going to head towards that. And we have a, another model, GFS, shown here. At, here at the 18th at 06Z, showing landfall along northern Luzon as well. So uh, only other one model, the uh, no gaps model, I'm not going to show it to you, but that's actually showing a recurve here up towards uh, Okinawa and eventually up to Japan. That model is a little off here, showing actually more weakness in the uh, region here and more uh, troughing coming down. So uh, right now, though, the consensus basically is heading towards uh, northern Luzon here, and that basically builds up with uh, streamline analysis and upper level charts as well. So this is definitely what the uh, track should be looking at. And actually, we're going to look at JTWC right now and show you the track. JTWC's official track just north of the uh, Sierra Madre region uh, making landfall right around uh, 125 knots up to 230 knots. So just on the brink of super typhoon, actually, especially throughout this area. Very uh, poor infrastructure uh, from what I have here. I've never actually been to this part of Luzon. But uh, definitely a, a scary situation throughout that area. But uh, one thing I do want to note, the cone still extends all the way from uh, southern Taiwan all the way down to uh, Lete Golf down in here so just something uh, to note everybody uh, all throughout this entire region definitely not out of the clear just yet even especially Manila the uh, largest city down here so this system still could uh, slightly trend towards the uh, south couple hundred miles and Manila puts it right on the uh, the brink of the uh, outer eye wall here so just something uh, to note.
And also showing uh, JMA's forecast here as well. Current uh, pressure rate around 975 mil, mil or HPA right in here. Uh, Definitely, I think it's probably lower by now, but we're going to see this gradually work its way down as this overall system starts to uh, deepen. But forecast track actually uh, ran off to the west-northwest, just like JTWC. They're taking a little slightly farther north, actually, right around these uh, Babion Islands. I believe that's how it's pronounced. If not, please let me know. And uh, actually going to move on to what I'm actually thinking here. So right now we do have uh, 15 whiskey on the uh, 15th. Uh, it's going to be moving off to the west northwest, eight knots. So by the uh, 17th, expecting to be right in this region right here and uh, making landfall just north of the Sierra Madre area and uh, south of the Babylon Islands. So that basically puts it right on the uh, very very northern periphery of uh, the Philippines or in Luzon right in here. So definitely uh, something to everybody up in this region really really needs to closely monitor this and uh, prepare for evacuations, especially near the other uh, coast but as I already stated though the area of air is still extending from here all the way down to here and definitely Manila needs to closely watch this because if this ridge as I noted right up in here is really weak and hard to see but if this ridge even builds in a little bit more that's actually going to move the system farther to the south so that's only a couple hundred miles difference and something we need to clearly note on this so but basically everybody especially even the uh, northwest coast of the Philippines uh, right up in this region needs to closely monitor this because as this system moves past we can still see uh, another storm surge come out of this uh, from the uh, southern periphery the winds are going to be coming back on towards uh, land so even this coast right in here not just the uh, east coast needs to really watch this closely but then after uh, the system moves over Luzon, expected to move off to the northwest again, the west-northwest, and possibly making landfall, or definitely making landfall along uh, southeastern China, possibly right around Hong Kong. So uh, just something to note here. Right now, I don't want to gun the jump the uh, gun too quickly on this as this is a very vast area up in here but everybody along this entire coast definitely needs to uh, watch this system as well and as I already can clearly see on uh, many news reports already being watched so uh, just something good to note here but basically after the system moves over Luzon looks like the uh, subtropical ridge should weaken enough for this to begin a recurvature up towards this region that is all for now, everybody, though. Uh, you can find me at storm2k.org if you have any questions, and also check out westernpacificweather.com as I've been uh, putting a couple links in here where you can email me and uh, contact and non-such, and also a lot of very good charts here to uh, use for um, forecasting out here and non-such. And So uh, that's all for today, everybody. Uh, stay safe out there, and let's keep uh, this watching this system uh, closely, and uh, I'll have another update later this evening. So have a good night, everybody. Bye.